Hey guys, so I just wanna to talk to you about warming up firstly in regards to this program. So when you first get into the gym, you can do any type of warm up you want for five to 10 minutes. Now when I say warming up, if you want a foam roll, if you want to stretch, if you wanna go for a jog on the treadmill, if you wanna do the assault bike, if you wanna do the rower, this has to be a very, very easy warm up for you, right? So what I personally do is I get on the assault bike for five minutes. Now this assault bike is like five out of 10. All I'm trying to do is slowly increase my blood flow to get my energy going, all right? I don't wanna to go too hard, I don't wanna fatigue myself, I don't wanna push anything. It's just about building myself up to you know, get the momentum going and get the blood flowing through my body. That's all I want you to think about, okay? Once you've done that for five minutes, you're then gonna go into your first exercise. Now, with your first exercise, the goal is to do a few warm-up sets. So what I mean by this is if your bench press is 60 kilos for 10 reps, okay? Because when I say working set, like 60 kilos for 10 reps, and you have to have two reps, two, it has to be an eight out of 10 RPE, is what I should say. So that means if you do 60 for 10 reps, you could have done 11 or 12, but you can't do more than 12. If you can do more than 12, that's not heavy enough. All right, so a warm up set would be less than 60. So if you're gonna go to 60 kilos, a warm up set would be the bar for let's say five reps. Then you might do 40 kilos for five reps. Then you might do 50 kilos for five reps. Then you do 60 kilos for 10 reps, okay? So you just need to warm up the muscle and train the movement you're doing with some lighter sets. Ideally, one to three sets, okay? You don't track them in the app. They're not you know, any track sets. They're just to get the blood flowing again and to practice the movement. Same thing as the squat. If you're gonna do a squat, you know, you're gonna do a goblet squat and it's with uh, 40 kilos, you start off with maybe 20 kilos, then 30 kilos, then 40 kilos, okay? And then the three sets that I have in the app, they're your working sets. So you stick with 60 kilos and you do it for the three working sets, okay? Now, you don't need to warm up for every exercise. The only warm-ups you have to do is for the muscle group when you start. So for example, if I've got you doing bench press, you do a warm up with your bench press, okay? But then if you were to go into push ups next, you don't have to do push ups, warm ups, because your chest is already uh, warmed up. And the same as like uh, biceps and triceps, they'll already be warmed up. With squats, if I make you do squats, you don't have to then warm up with leg extensions. Like, you know, if you're doing 60 kilos in leg extensions, you don't have to do 20 kilos, 40 kilos, 60. You just get straight into a working set because you've already worked that muscle group and they're already prepared, okay? So I hope that helps you guys understand in regards to warming up, in regards to, you know, when you first come in the gym and then warm up sets. And then with cool down too, just want to explain to you guys about that. Cooling down after the workout, it's up to you. If you wanna take some time to stretch, go for it. If you wanna take some time to you know, do five or 10 minutes again on the cardio just to slow down and cool down, you can. But a cool down is there to reduce your body temperature and chill out. For me, my cool down is just walking home. When I walk home, it's nice and casual, it doesn't take a long time, it's about 15 minutes, I'm listening to music, that's my cool down. So don't feel like it is an imperative thing that you have to have for a cooling down session. It's just to let yourself relax a little bit. Cool, all right, hope you guys understand that.